If you're looking for a free one-click solution to fix bad audio, then this is the video for you. Because in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Adobe's AI-powered podcast enhance tool to take bad audio and make it sound as though it were recorded in a perfectly controlled podcast studio. And yes, we're going to demonstrate this using a real-world example that I just used this software on, and honestly, it kind of blew my mind. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so I recently filmed a modeling and portrait shoot using my Sony a7R5. A full version of this video is actually already on my channel, which I will leave a link to above, and in the description below that you can check out. But one of the main components of this video in this shoot was just capturing a lot of different audio moments and interviews as the day went on. And honestly, there was just one audio interview in particular that was incredibly challenging to capture. Now, this was filmed in a large open air sort of recreational space in an apartment complex. Basically, you had a ton of reverberating sound, hardwood floors, a bunch of ambient noise from a nearby gym so you could hear clanking plates. So just for an initial example of what this audio sounded like on camera using the shotgun mic, Here's a listen to that. All right, today we are here with the lovely Carousel and Jasmine. Jasmine, as you see in the back, is doing the makeup for the second look of today. Andrew behind the camera, my main man, first <laughs> TP, and then you know me, I'm the photographer of the day. So in my opinion, not really even usable. Now you could try to clean this up in myriad different ways, but I actually decided this was going to be a pretty good opportunity to try Adobe's new podcast enhance tool because I'd heard so many good things about it and I wondered how well this would work and what it could actually do given the circumstances of the audio captured here. So if you go to podcast.adobe.com slash enhance, this is going to bring up the main podcast enhance tool that you can use to improve your audio. Now, there are a couple of things to note here that I want to point out. Of course, you're going to need an Adobe account to be able to use this, though this is a free tool. So if you don't have an Adobe account already, you'll definitely want to make one and go through the process there. Now, once you do have one, there are a couple of caveats with the software that are worth noting. Number one, as you're going to see here, this is an audio only tool. So this only accepts .wav and .mp3 file types. Also, there are different time and size based limits that Adobe has put on the tool. In this case, you have a one hour maximum duration of audio that you can upload or a 500 megabyte maximum size. And overall, you can only process up to three hours daily total of audio through this tool. That said, of course, because we were working initially with a video file here, we wanna get the audio and be able to extract it from that to upload to the podcast enhanced tool. So there are a couple of different ways you could do this. Now, given I am a Final Cut Pro user, it is relatively trivial for me to be able to just go to the share section here and to export a file. In this case, we can just basically ensure that rather than video and audio, what we can do is for our format here and the settings page is export audio only. From here, I can choose the audio format. Of course, since it supports WAV and MP3, I can choose one of those. In this case, I will go with WAV. And then from here, I can export this as if it were any other file I was sharing through Final Cut Pro. And as you can see, once that export completes, we have our audio and that file here as a WAV format that is ready to go. Now, if you're not a Final Cut Pro user, there are other audio tools you can use to accomplish the same thing, such as with VLC Media Player. In this case, if we were to take our initial audio clip that has the source audio and just open it through VLC, what we can do is go to File, Go to Convert Stream. That clip will already be selected. In this case, it's just sitting on my desktop, but you can select this from wherever it ultimately lives. Choose our profile here, which we have a bunch of different options that are video-based, but we would choose an audio-based option instead. And again, because it supports WAV or MP3, we'll choose MP3. And then in this case, just choose a given destination. You can see we've already tried this through here, but we're just going to save it again with the file extension that we want and choose Save. Once we do that, we will click Save in the main VLC window. And as you can see here, we have our MP3 version of the file now ready to go. Now, of course, if you're just starting with an audio file, then you're ready to go from the outset. But once you have that main audio file that you're ready to convert and fix, we can either drag and drop the audio in the main podcast enhance interface or click upload. In this case, I will just navigate over to my external drive where I save this and where we have our initial WAV file that we exported through Final Cut, and I will click open. Now the podcast enhance tool is going to analyze this file and transform the speech into something that should be a lot more usable. Now here you'll see it actually provides us with a preview that we can listen to just to hear what this sounds like. All right, today we are here with the lovely carousel and Jasmine. Jasmine is seeing the back is doing the makeup for the second look of today. And it'll ultimately let you even compare this to the original source file if you want to hear the difference before and after to see what difference podcast enhance made. So since I like the way this sounds, I can just download the audio now after it's been enhanced. Of course, I can click download. And now I have the podcast enhanced version of our WAV file that we uploaded. You'll see that Adobe adds enhanced in parentheses here to show the difference between the original source file. And so now, of course, if I go back into Final Cut Pro here and I go to my import window, I can go to the main source location. I can look for this enhanced version of the audio and I can now import it 
And once I've imported this, syncing this up should be a pretty straightforward process. So my original clip here was this clip number 33, as you can see right here. So if we take clip number 33, and we look for this enhanced version of the audio that we just imported, which is right here. If I hold the command key down, you'll see that I now have two of these selected. So clip 33 and the enhanced version of the audio. Now I can right click on this and choose synchronize clips. So here we can name the clip, of course, whatever we want, but the key is we're going to use audio for synchronization. We definitely want to make sure this is checked off. Once we do this, we will let Final Cut Pro sync these clips. And now we have our synced clip right here. So now if I bring in our synced clip, as we see right here, if I expand this out, we're going to see that we have the main audio portion that we exported and we have the original source clip. So here, of course, I can cut the clip just to fit the audio portion that we exported. And the key thing I can do here is of course, bring down the audio on the original clip and just make sure we're utilizing the audio that was enhanced, that Adobe Podcast enhanced process for us. Now, if we go back, we can essentially trim this up. We can apply the LUT we had here, remove that. And now let's listen to the final result that we have with the podcast enhanced tool, fixing the audio. All right, today we are here with the lovely carousel and Jasmine. Jasmine is, see in the back, is doing the makeup for the second look of today. Andrew behind the camera, my main man, first in TP, and then you know me, I'm the photographer in the day. Now you can still hear that clanking plate that was at the start of the interview, though honestly, it was pretty loud in the initial recording and I imagine it would be difficult to remove regardless of the method you chose. All in all though, this sounds vastly better and without having to tweak any custom settings or utilize different equalization methods or compressors or try to run this through any other type of post-processing, with one click, we are able to fix our audio and turn it from something pretty much unusable to something that's ready to go. So that is a run through of Adobe's podcast enhance tool and how you can take your audio and fix it for free with one single click. Hopefully this video has been of some help to you. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe if it has. I have a number of audio related gear reviews and tutorials on this channel already that I would definitely encourage you to check out. And yes, I can definitely say there will be more on the way. So subscribe if you like videos like this. For now, that is all I have to say. So thanks for watching.